guys welcome back to cook the book um, I'm super excited to share this recipe with you guys um, you would think that walnuts and garlic would mix together but apparently they do in this dip that we're gonna make so here it is in the cookbook don't mind my sticky notes I was looking for ideas and this is the front of the cookbook and it's available to check out so one of our newer ones will be over in the new nonfiction section so I suggest checking this cookbook out it's got some really great recipes so let's go ahead and get started already processed some of the walnuts because I was unsure if they would all fit in my mini food processor but here is my baby food processor that we're gonna make this awesome dip in so you need half a cup well I'm sorry one and a half cups of it calls for toasted walnuts you could toast them or you could not it's up to you and um, for one and a half cups of walnuts I'm gonna go ahead and actually put them in here and I'm gonna use my hands I promise I wash my hands beforehand. And I'm not entirely sure that they're all gonna fit in here, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and process them. So I apologize for the loud noise. All right, so that seems like they're processed enough. I could probably fit a little bit more in there, but we're not going to, because it's a baby one. So I'm gonna make a modified version of this. All right, and then it calls for one garlic clove, and I'm only gonna use half of it, and it says you have to crush it and peel it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and crush it the way my dad taught me how to. And I'm only gonna use half of it, but in the full recipe, it calls for all of it. So I'm gonna shove that aside. Well, then it calls for a teaspoon of kosher salt, and I've already gotten my salt, my lemon zest, and my mint all put together in this little bowl. Um, so we put the walnuts, the garlic in there, and then we put this stuff in there too. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this gets nice and together. So loud noise again. That's what we want it to kind of look like. It's gonna get a little sticky, but that's because there's garlic in there and, and lemon zest and stuff like that. That's okay. That's what we want. All right. Open this up a little bit. I have a feeling that it's not gonna all fit in my mini one, but that's okay. So after that, we have a half a cup of white beans, which I did not know that white beans were navy beans, but white beans are navy beans. Doesn't make sense, but that's okay. So then we're supposed to add the white beans, the lemon juice, and our olive oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and add our olive oil in here. And this is, if you're doing it like you're doing half of it, you would do, I don't know, an eighth a cup of olive oil. But this, if you're doing a full serving of it, it would be a fourth cup. I'm gonna go ahead and process this. I'm gonna stray from the recipe. Yeah, and that gives me a little bit more room to work with. It's already starting to look like dip, which is great. So I'm going to go ahead and put the navy beans in here. White beans, navy beans, whatever they're called. And I'm only going to use half the can, which sounds about right. Let's see if it fits, honestly. There's some gaps here. speed this along I'm just gonna grab a spoon real quick and I'm gonna mix it up make it that way and grab a spoon real quick alrighty my bad for not bringing the big food processor that's okay though I will make a mess of things and that's fine it's a kitchen that's what it's for this already looks good and it already smells good and the last thing that we'll add is our lemon juice. Apparently this is vegan as well. So for anybody who's vegan, this is a good alternative. So some of the other things that you'll see like ranch or something, and I bought a vegetable tray for it to go with. So there's that. And I'm gonna process this a little bit more. Poor little food processor. <laughs> Alright, 
and I'm going to add the lemon juice to it. And my dad always taught me to roll the lemon beforehand. Didn't do it, but that's okay. And to run it over your hand to catch all the seeds. So our lemon juice will fall in here and our seeds will all fall in my hand. All right. And this is our last ingredient. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put it in a bowl and get ready to serve it. Let's not get lemon juice on the cookbook. Yep. And that makes it mix a little bit better too. And that's what it should look like. It looks really good and I can't wait to try it. I hope you guys check out this cookbook. I'm so excited to go give this to all of our library employees. They're very excited when I do cook the book because that means they get to eat. <laughs> so I'm so happy that you guys get to see this one. Come and check out this book. Like I said, it's in our new nonfiction section and I will see you guys next time we do cook the book. Bye.